Continuing from last week, this is where we met Howard and asked him about the Chester Imp. Right, okay. And one day, one of the monks was walking on this side yep. of the nave and he glanced up to the big windows up there. Can you see the big windows? Yeah. yeah. And he saw looking at him an evil face. Now that bothered him. So he ran to the abbot to tell the abbot what he'd seen. Right. The abbot says, well, it was probably the devil looking in. Huh? Tell you what, you go and have a stone carving made showing the devil in chains. When you've done it, put it up there by the window and if the devil returns and looks in, he will see what's going to happen. He will be chained. Right. Now the image of the devil is right behind me. Two thirds of the way up the wall, close to the big window, second big window in. I can see the it, spotlight so. is on him. Oh, there can you he see is. a large round face yeah. Yeah. next to the window, right in the corner of the window? Can you see a little? Yeah. That is his face, right. and his body is to the side and his leg you can see a leg at yeah. the bottom he's crouching and what looks like a garland round his neck is actually his arms right. his arms are like this yeah 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 he's chained ah, he can't so you, you move won't... yeah so if he comes back he's gonna get that well tradition has it that anything nasty will come from the north because the north is cold and dark. So if he comes at all, he'll come from that direction, he will look in that window and he'll, get and he'll see what's going to happen. He will be changed. <laughs> oh, thank you. That's amazing. Well, it's not just an image, it's a story. Yes. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But we would... Well, we never have found it. We wouldn't have found it. No, we wouldn't would. have heard the story yeah. if we hadn't spoke to you. So thank you very much. Well, it's not, yeah, you need to know the story to understand. Yeah. 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 Well, that's important to the cathedral because everybody knows this as Chester Cathedral. Yeah. It does have a title, and the title is the, the, the Cathedral Church of Christ and the Blessed Virgin Mary. Right. That symbolises the title. And this young gentleman here has just told us that this <laughs> is Roman remains. Roman remains are about 2,000 years old. And what did you describe it as? <laughs> oh well, recycling. Roman recycling. Medieval, medieval recycling. Medieval recycling. What a lovely thought. <laughs> We've got music going on behind us, so we're not allowed to say too much. This is very, very interesting. Howard pointed out this memorial to Thomas Green and his two wives, Ellen and Dorothy. Uh, Thomas Green was the mayor of Chester in 1569. Uh, Howard asked if there was, we noticed anything about the memorial that was a bit weird. And uh, us two Philistines just looked at it and was like, no, we don't see now. And that's when he pointed out that all the figures had had their hands chopped off. And apparently it was because Chester sided with King Charles I in the Civil War. And when all the Cromwell's men got into Chester, they thought, because the hands was clasped in prayer, it was a bit too Catholic, a bit too popish, so chopped him off. It's, it's very engaging, wasn't he? He was very enthusiastic, enthusiastic about what he was telling you. Very knowledgeable, cracking lad. He was, so yeah, very brilliant. Now we're on our way for the coffin of St John. That's right, isn't it? It is right, yeah. It's just we do see some miserable stuff, don't we? Let's go look for a coffin. <laughs> well, I know, but they're all medieval things, aren't they? They are. So, Let's just... So we'll Google, so we'll go this we'll way. Go that way, don't we? Uh, but, yeah, I was... I think Chester's Cathedral is our favourite cathedral we've been in, isn't it? Oh, we've been in a few. Yes. The Church of St John the Baptist, so we'll find this medieval coffin here, then. Wooden medieval coffin we're looking for, aren't we? We're looking for it. Whether we've found it or not is a different matter. I think... I think it's going to be among that lot on there. Just the fact that it's real, it's got railings to stop you getting too close. Oh, that is old, isn't it? Sure is.
Oh, I feel like Hannah Carice. Says your aunt. <laughs> stop the clock! Stop the clock! Oh, God. Where's the helicopter? <laughs> oh, there it is. Found it. Yeah. Now stop the clock, stop the clock. Yeah. <laughs> don't to don't or something, innit? But yeah, that's it. Medieval coffin in St John's Church. Weird, isn't it? It doesn't say dolt to dolt. What does it say? <laughs> It was close. Well, We've close? got some of the letters right. <laughs> so what does it say? Dust to dust. <laughs> which kind of makes sense, yeah, really. Yeah, Oh, we enjoy being our own kind of historians, don't we, love? That does not look like an S. I'm no, sorry. It, no, it doesn't look like an S. I'll try and zoom in when I edit so you can see. Let us know in the comments if you think it says dolt to dolt. We've just found the amphitheatre. Just found it and stumbled across it. Stumbled, yeah, we didn't. Well, we was heading towards Sports Direct, really, weren't we? <laughs> well, I thought we'd come here instead. Column fragments, originally part of an off official box above. Mm. Oh, official box where the posh people sat then. Well, come on then, go to me some Shakespeare. What? Oh, that's what an amphitheatre is, isn't it? Where it... Shakespeare? Yeah, I didn't. An, an amphitheatre where they did. It amplifies your voice. No, oh, this is where I think it was, wasn't it? Um, John Fashionel, Awuga, and Ulrika Johnson. Gladiators. Gladiators ready! <laughs> so, where they used to come and have a scrap, wasn't it? The old gladiators, Russell Crowe, and all his mates. Right, so why is it called an amphitheatre then? I don't know, it's like a theatre, isn't it? I think I've just totally got it wrong. <laughs> I think you're right, I think an amphitheatre is. Oh, look at the. That's why I think I've got it wrong. The fellas on here. Yeah. Centurions. <laughs> See, I'm making up all these words as I know what I'm talking about, but yeah. Centurions. Tethering stone. Tethering stone. So that might be because he used to have animals, you know, maybe exotic animals, and he used to kill it. Maybe like, like they're bullfighting now, maybe in the old days, they'd maybe try and kill a lion or something. What, in Chester? There's a zoo over there. <laughs> I asked for that, didn't I? <laughs> it does echo your voice, though. <laughs> that bloke laughed over there, didn't he? <laughs> Hello! It's just people just leaving rubbish, though. Um, That's there, watch yourself. I know, that is altar to Nemesis. Nemesis? Yeah, she was the um, Roman god of vengeance. Goddess? Goddess of vengeance, yeah. So vengeance. vengeance. Why would that be here then? What was it? The Roman god? The Greek god? Greek? No, Roman god. Roman god. Roman god of vengeance. <sighs> unless. Maybe, uh, yeah. Unless when they did the. So kill somebody like and she was vengeance. Or maybe it was. They was getting vengeance for them being <laughs> naughty and that's why they had to get battle against the gladiators. Don't come in for facts, will you? <laughs> <laughs> we'll just make. Make it up off on the spot. I'm right with that though. I well, know yeah. But that, yeah, that probably is right. But everything else we've said but might be wrong. Things like that, right? Really. No swear channel. Yeah. The really, it really does annoy me. There's a poo bag over there. There's rubbish down there. Just take it home with your people. There's a bottle, box of Stella, empty Stella on the wall there. Yes. Do as Auntie Tony says. Yeah. It's annoying though, isn't it? It's it is hard. annoying. Yeah, got a lovely place. It's disrespectful. And... Historical place to come and look around and some lazy people. Well, that's people with kids, that. So what are, the what are they teaching the kids? To do exactly the same. We've uh, gone off on a tangent here. I'm sorry, I'll have a little <laughs> rat. I just can't help it. So I think we'll leave it there for Chester, don't you? Yeah. Yeah, let's get back to the van. Get the kettle on. Uh, we're ready to wreck something here, but we'll leave this vlog here today. Um, if you've liked what you've seen, please subscribe. We've got so many viewers that are just watching and not subscribing, and subscribing and liking really helps the channel grow. So, ding the bell. So subscribe or else. Bye. Jump up. <laughs>